Hi everybody, it's Tara here from One Heart Many Hats. Uh, welcome back to Momspiration Weekly. Last week was our first week of Momspirations where I share with you my accomplishments and my intentions for each week for my, my family and for myself. So I'll go ahead and recap a little bit of last week and talk to you about this week. So last week, the um, I set the intention of Let's see, I'll start with my kids. For my kids, I, my intention was to give them more praise. And I did. I gave them lots of praise throughout the week when they were doing their, their schoolwork, um, when, we were, uh, have, when they had to be quiet at church, um, throughout the day when they were listening to me the first time I asked them to do something. I was really focused on letting them know that they were doing a really good job. So I did that. And then um, for my husband, I had sent the, set the intention to give him a hug when he arrived home from work every day, just drop whatever I was doing, and I did. And um, I noticed that because I was doing that, we were, you know, we're just, we, we got us connected again since it's like you move from one shift to the next. He went from the shift at work to the shift at home and, and um, doing things around the house with us. So um, instead of talking about our day in a way that can sometimes be like competing, I don't, I don't, maybe you've experienced this, experienced this, um, you probably have, where you and your husband are talking about really like your day and who worked harder, like who should be more tired because he did this, this, and this at work and you went through all that or the kids, you know, the kids made a huge mess or they, you know, they were... Uh, extra difficult or challenging, whatever it might be. We didn't we didn't do that this week, and I think um, because I took the time to give him that hug, it, it really helped out with that. So you should give it a try. Um, the other thing was I set the intention for myself that I would um, wear a piece of jewelry or an accessory, like I was wearing that scarf, just to make myself feel good, and I did. I I did that throughout the week and. It went really well and I asked for you to share with me the things that you do as part of your self-care and things you do in your home to, um, to improve the, the atmosphere. So um, if you didn't comment in the last video, comment in this one, please. Um, so that was last week and now I'll talk to you about this week. As for this week, my intentions for my children are to continue to give them one-on-one -on -one time. I had spent some one-on-one -on -one time with my son and um, I spent some one-on-one -on -one time with my daughter and if you watch this video to the end I'll share a little clip of us um, doing some uh, spending our time together we went shopping for a little bit and, and had a good time and I spoiled her a little bit and that was that was really nice and um, I want to continue doing that um, with each child. I have three kids one that's 10, 5, and one that's almost 3. And as for my husband, what I'd like to do is continue to give him a hug when he comes home and then also think of ways that I can lighten his load a little bit, just take care of something that he normally does once or twice this week, uh, just to give him a little break. I know when he does that for me, it's really helpful and I really appreciate that. So for example, today is trash day and I brought in the trash cans job that he usually does. I went ahead and did it for him. So that's one less thing that he has to do when he gets home. So I don't know what else I'll do, but I'll think about it and I'll share with you next week. And for myself, um, this week I know is going to be really busy with activities. So I want to make sure that one day this week I give myself permission to have a longer shower or bath, whatever, um, just so I can relax a little bit more and kind of, it helps me to um, settle my thoughts and sleep better. So that's one thing that I'll do. And after my bath, I'll rub some essential oils on myself, maybe some Roman chamomile or some lavender so that I can feel good and be ready for the next day and um, just give my family all that I can. So I hope that my, um, that my suggestions or that my my story really what I've been doing has inspired you in some ways and um, like I said share with me what 
things that you're doing in your home and I look forward to hearing back from you until next time. So here's those those clips of our week. I have one of me wearing jewelry. Wanted to show you I did what I said. <laughs> so bye for now. So what did you find? <gasps> Shopkins. And what's that? Num nums. Num nums? And your little LOL doll. Are the num nums for you? Mm-hmm. They're my sister. And your sister too? We're finding some little gifts for for Christmas. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so we're all done with our shopping trip at Walmart. Got lots of goodies. Yay! Yeah. And my little sweetheart's back there munching on some... What, what kind of M&M's do you have? Coffee! Coffee M&M's. Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah? I think you're a future barista. What do you think? Mm. Maybe? <laughs> Does mommy let you have M&M's all the time? Uh -uh. No, so this is pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Say bye to our friends. Bye. Bye. That was fun.